my name is Tim. I am an addict. And I have a testimony. Uh, last December, I was violated on my um, ISR stipulations. Um, I tested positive for amphetamines. And the actual um, thing that I was taking was my prescription medication. Um, on the day I got uh, violated and sent back, I decided I was going to give up. I spent uh, the 90 days in there thinking of what I could do when I got out to, to put an end to it. I was um, basically a beating heart, no soul, no spirit. Um, on March 8th, when I came here, I tried to con my PO's assistant into dropping me off at either HCMC or the GA's office. I made some excuse, I need to get my meds, you know, I'd like to get them before I come in here. And my, um, my intention was to find a place to jump. Um, by the grace of God, my PO didn't allow that, so I was brought right here. And um, here I am today. Um, three, three important things happened to me in here. The first one was I got that phone room job. Um, for me, that was a blessing uh, beyond belief. It jump-started my program. It uh, made me happy to wake up. And um, I'm not sure I would have gotten the gist of this whole thing without that job. So whoever, if you're in here, whoever put me in that phone room, you have no idea how grateful I am for that. Um, the second thing is, as George said, I'm in his Wednesday night small group. And I, uh, I just have to share a little story. The first Wednesday night here, you know, when they, when Tim or George tells you the new people to come up and they'll put them in a group, I, um, I went to the group that night. Well, the next two Wednesdays I didn't because I thought it was just the orientation first week, so uh, I missed two groups. And I, one of my roommates told me about that, and I, uh, you know, of course was nervous not knowing if I'd get in trouble. Um, good friend of mine who's graduated here helped me, brought me down to talk to George and he invited me into his group. Um, I got more than I could have ever imagined out of that group. All the people in it. Um, I'm just so thankful for every person in that group. And um, I just feel so fortunate um, to be in that group. I just think George is an amazing counselor. I just, he has done so much for me. He made me realize that um, it's natural to still have those thoughts, you know? But you don't have to act on them. You're going to have, you know, we all are going to have those thoughts, but it's what we do, you know. And um, I'm just so <laughs> unbelievably grateful, blessed to be in that group. And I, um, I do want to come back as often as I can to it. So. Um, third thing was, and unfortunately he can't be here tonight, uh, my good buddy Dave, uh, very Dave Dogmo. Just a very wise man. Um, let me bounce things off him. Listen to me vent. Um, yeah, let me know when you know, my thinking was wrong and gave me another viewpoint. I wish he was here today. Unfortunately, he's gone for a couple days. Um, those three things are the reason I'm here right now. 
uh, a graduate of this program. Um, I will continue to do God's work. Um, you know, I'm not sure how I have. There's one idea I have in mind. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not sure how good of a speaker I am. So I don't know if I can, you know, preach the word to people, but I think my actions will, will do plenty. And I intend to do that. Um, I just, God bless this program. That's all I can say. Um, thanks to this program, I will be able to see my father again. Thank you.